A fallen Pueblo police officer from 1935 was remembered today. The police department led an effort to replace the headstone of Officer Elmer Trout, who died in 1935. Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live at the Roselawn Cemetery at Officer Trout's gravesite with more on a story that's absolutely Colorado. Scott? Yeah, that's for sure, guys. That special ceremony was held right here where I'm standing earlier today. I'll step out of the way and you can see the headstone there. It's not a new headstone, but kind of a repaired headstone. It, op it of course, remembers Officer Elmer Trout, who died at age 35 from injuries he actually suffered five years earlier when he was beaten outside a pool hall on Union Avenue downtown. We have a photo of him to show you. Now, he had tried to disperse a mob of 15 to 20 men during a disturbance. Over time, his headstone had become chipped and sank into the ground. The staff here at Roselawn Cemetery repaired the headstone, and now it looks as good as new. Uh, we're real appreciative of that because right now, in the only family that Mr. Trout has that we're aware of is the, his police family at the Pope Police Department. Um, I'll have our union president and our association present a symbolic check because we already gave him the check of, for payment for fixing this. Obviously, it involved a lot of labor and hard work on these guys' part. And then if you guys want to ask, ask me questions now, and then I'll get the, the mic. And as you can see there, the check to Roselawn for that work was $375. The headstone repair was part of an effort that started last year to recognize all of Pueblo's fallen police officers. Elmer Trout also was a police, uh, also, I should say she also was a military veteran. He was born in Kansas, but then later moved to Pueblo and had four kids. Remembering a fallen police officer nearly 90 years later, it doesn't get any more absolutely Colorado than that. We are live at Roselawn Ceremony in Pueblo. Scott Harrison, KRDO 13.